What's up people? Welcome back. Hopefully you're doing well. And today might be the most YouTuber-ish video that I've ever done. So I'm actually going on vacation, which I haven't done in years, which I'm really excited about. So this video is going to be up while I'm away. And my hope is that it's going to be short, simple, direct to the point, no fluff. I just want to be very informative on the topic of if I were to start a YouTube channel in 2023 or with the question, hey, if I want to start a YouTube channel, do you have any advice? And this is my advice. Number one, my biggest piece of advice, which a lot of people also talk about, which might be a little redundant, but rightfully so, is to just start now. In life, we get sparks of inspiration. It happens at random times, at the supermarket, while you're at the gym. Inspiration comes at random times and you can get inspired to start a YouTube channel and you get so inspired that you start coming up with a plan, you're writing out a document, you're gonna plan out how you're gonna make this amazing YouTube channel. And by the end of that process, it might take a week, two weeks, your inspiration for starting a YouTube channel just dies completely. So there's something called paralysis by analysis. I think that's what it is, or analysis by paralysis. It's essentially when you plan something so much or you're looking at so many different options that you can't make a decision or just start something. And that's why my biggest piece of advice is to literally just start. Your first video is not gonna be perfect. Your second video, not gonna be perfect. My video currently that I'm doing is not going to be perfect. A lot of my videos are not perfect. Most of them are not. But every video that I've done, I have the intention and hope that it'll get better and better. And I'll be able to fine tune how I present myself to the world, how I present information, how I speak. And every video that I've done has increasingly gotten better and better and better over time. But that wouldn't have been the case if I didn't just start. And granted, don't take my advice saying don't plan or don't write things down. I write all my videos down. I script everything, but I always have the intention and I always have the motive of knowing that I am going to do this video. So your first video is going to be pretty rough. You know, just get that right in your head. It's going to be rough. It's going to be awkward sitting here by yourself in your house or your room, sitting in front of a camera, just talking to yourself. It's kind of weird, but over time you get used to it and it gets better and it gets better and you get more comfortable. And then you realize that eventually you're actually talking to people and it might not, you might not realize it because you are talking to yourself, but when you're done talking and you edit it and you put it out to the world, what you're saying has a message. What you're saying has purpose, it has value. So definitely take that into consideration when you're first starting, just recognize that it's gonna be awkward, it's gonna be weird but don't let that be a deterrent for you to continue moving forward. So just start now. Number two, don't start YouTube with the intention of acquiring a certain amount of subscribers, views, likes, comments, money. That is gonna be the biggest detriment to a lot of people's success and continuation and consistency on YouTube. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, I don't know, but this is my personal belief. When I first started YouTube, my intention was not to get thousand subscribers. It wasn't to get 100,000 subscribers or 10,000 views or whatever the numbers are. It, my, my intention was not to base my success on numerical accolades, especially in the beginning. It really wasn't. My intention from the beginning was to do this for a whole year, consistently, every Monday for a whole year. That was my goal. That's what I set for myself because I knew if I set numbers as my goal, if I didn't reach those numbers, it would be more likely for me to drop out because I felt the fear of failure or I didn't succeed. Regardless of views in the beginning, I think the first video I got in the first day, I got like five views. And then the second video got 30 views. Like if you look at this chart, it, it's a slow burn from the time I started my channel to where it is now. And there's a point where it peaks and it starts popping. But before that, it was nothing. It was slow. It was brutal and if i had the goal of the numbers and the the accolades of that uh, of getting the views and the subscribers i could almost guarantee you that i would have dropped out because i didn't succeed or i didn't get what i intended but because i was consistent because i set the goal for myself to do this every monday every week regardless that gave me the motivation to do it even when i didn't want to because there were times, even now, I don't want to do videos sometimes, but I, I do it because I'm determined, I'm motivated. And now I also have a deeper purpose for doing these videos because of the impact 
as some of these videos are making. And after that year, I recognized the growth and the potential that I had, and that is truly all thanks to the consistency that I put into this YouTube channel. And granted, I may have missed a handful of days and Mondays, but pretty much I was super consistent, even in times that I didn't want to be. So my advice to you is set your goal based on consistency and a timeline rather than a numerical accolade. Number three, be okay with sharing your imperfections. This is something that I am a huge believer in, and this is something that isn't shown on social media all the time because, as you all know, it's been drilled into your head. Social media is the place where everyone shows their best self, and that's totally true. It's been super rewarding and fulfilling for me to be able to share my vulnerabilities, my failures, my fears, all the things that most people will not share in public. But for me, it, it felt comforting knowing that if I could share my fears, my failures, my, my vulnerabilities, someone out there could also be feeling these same things and resonate with what I'm saying and find comfort in the things that I say. And Honestly, I think a lot of it just stems from me being in my head so much in life in general that I needed an outlet just to kind of talk about the things that I feel. And over time to where I am now, I have truly found that these types of videos where I am talking about my fears, vulnerabilities, mental health, are the ones that are most impactful to people and the ones that people resonate with the most and people feel comfort in. Because when you are fearful, when you are... Um, scared or you're not sure what's going on in your life you feel like you're alone but you're not so many other people out there are going through the same thing as you and me being that voice to a lot of people provided a great deal of not just success in the channel but also fulfillment in knowing that I'm truly helping people out obviously with what you're comfortable with don't be afraid to share your vulnerabilities share your journey with your audience take them along the ride with you from the beginning stages to where you want to end up. Take them along from the positives to the negatives. Truly, I think this will help you create an authentic and real channel that people will be able to resonate with. So those are quick three tips on if I were to start a YouTube channel, what would I do? And if you were to start a YouTube channel, these are things that I would think about moving forward. So for anyone that is looking to start a YouTube channel, I wish you the absolute best of luck. It is not easy. It is probably the hardest thing I've ever done and it is still the hardest thing I ever do uh, because it's hard to find motivation to do this sometimes. But in the beginning, it might not work out. It might not be how you pictured it. It might not be how you imagined. You might not get the viewership, but at the same time, you might be one of the lucky ones that blows up. But don't look at that as I need to blow up immediately. Enjoy the journey of YouTube. Enjoy the process of getting better and better and better and finding your voice and finding a true authentic audience that resonates with your message. So that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you guys have a great day. See you next time. Peace out.